Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome to another video. We're going to go ahead and we're going to talk about something that's a very common problem and we're going to talk about how to remedy that and that is my dog won't leave my feet. Everybody knows, everybody's owned, everybody's been around a dog that won't leave, that won't get off and go hunting, won't get in the woods. We're going to fix that and I'm a 100% on this guys. Um, this will work how long it takes you depends on the dog but this method will work and it'll get you there um, and it doesn't have negative side effects um, so we're not going to create any extra issues with the dog by going through this process I'm gonna go over two different ways um, based on two different hunter types um, hunter type one is the guy that wants to cut wait to the dog trees and then go into the dog the second hunter type is going to be the guy that likes to cut and then take a nice walk through the woods with the dog okay so type number one what we're going to do these guys tend to cut out the back of the truck cut at the edge of the woods uh, that kind of situation we're not going to do that here what we're going to do is we're going to go and walk our dog deep into the woods probably 100 200 yards something like that something far enough away off from the truck that they're not just going to linger out the truck and we're going to wait in the woods about 200 yards deep with our dog we're going to cut our dog we're going to cut our light um, we're going to ignore the dog and we're going to wait and if the dog takes off we're not going to move and we don't want to scold our dog and mess it up or maybe put some fear in that dog or cause further issues with the dog but it's the simplest thing in the world um, so we're going to cut deep in the woods we're going to cut our light off we're going to ignore the dog we're going to wait for as long as we can stand to wait um, and then we are going to stay put when the dog does take off and wait for it to return. Now, what will tend to happen here, depending on your dog, is the dog will just take off back for the truck. But this isn't a bad thing. This isn't a bad thing because the dog has now gotten off away from you, made it the 200 yards back to the truck. So you know the dog's capable of getting out at least that far back to the truck. And what you do is they run back to the truck, just go back to the truck leash them bring them back cut them again or go back to the truck call it a day come back out repeat the process but each time that you repeat this process they're gonna be a little bit deeper on you um and the second guy he's gonna do the kind of the same thing as the first guy but we're gonna cut wherever we want to cut and we're gonna take our walk once the dog hits something and wants to take off or gets interested and peels off a little bit we're going to do the same thing the first guy did except for when the dog comes back and you know he's quit whatever he's doing then we're just going to push on a little bit, same thing, push on a little bit, same thing. Each time, this dog's going to get deeper, and it's going to get off, off away from your feet. Um, so if you guys haven't checked out my How to Train a Coon Dog Solo videos, check that out because I'm, that's some great information in there. If you guys want to hear anything or hear my opinion on anything, just drop a comment down there, and I'll try to make a video for you. Uh, thanks for stopping by. Hope you guys have a good hunting, and let's get those hounds to get some go power in them.